What's up guys, it's Mion. I'm back with another video. Uh, this is the first video from the new laptop. Let's go! Finally have it set up after finally uploading parts 2 and 3 for the Basketball Gym YouTube series. Go check those out, please and thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course. But, tonight is the 2023 NASCAR All-Star Race from North Wilkesboro. In fact, the All-Star Open is actually going on right now. And I want to take some time... To look back at my preseason predictions and look at where I think things are going to head out the rest of the season because, wow, did I get shit wrong. So again, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams, and let's get on with the show. So, to refresh your memory, back in the preseason, I said Kyle Larson was going to get four wins. Chastain, three. Hamlin, Elliott, Allmendinger, and Kyle Busch, and Logano, and Reddick, and Wallace, two wins apiece. Gibbs, Bowman, Bell, Briscoe, Harvick, one win apiece. Suarez and Truex get in on points, and guys like Cedric and Blaney um, don't make it. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't think Gibbs is getting a win this year. I don't... I. I don't think Allmendinger is going to get a win this year, even with the road courses we have coming up later in the year. Bowman is currently out due to an injury he suffered um, in a in a, um, in a dirt race, and I have no idea when he's going to be back. He currently sits just outside the playoffs right now on points, but I d the longer he misses, spoiler, I don't have him making the playoffs. I just, the longer he misses, I just don't see it. I just don't, unless he wins, I don't know how he can do it. Um, Chastain has yet to win so far. I, uh, we'll, we'll get to him in a little bit, but um, I think the biggest surprise of the season so far is the fact of that William Byron has three wins. And he won back-to-back -back races earlier in the season, where when you look at the stats, he won two races back-to-back -back in a span of five races, where the other three, he finished like crap crazy um you know so byron and he just won darlington last week hamlin has a win Trix jr has a win bush has two larson has two bell has one reddick has one logano has one and then sarah House jr won the daytona 500 for the rest of the season i think when we come out when we go to charlotte for the coke 600 next weekend I think Kevin Harvick, in his final season, will get a win. And it won't be his only one, but he gets a win here at Charlotte. I think William Byron wins a gateway to get his fourth win of the season. I think Chase Elliott pulls off the win at Sonoma, which he needs to. He's he's getting he's increasing his position on points. But remember, he missed he missed a bunch of races due to injury. He needs a win badly and he gets one at sonoma a track that he's really freaking good at we know how good he is on road courses it's a no-brainer pick to say elliot wins here i have blaney winning at nashville because blaney needs to fucking win at a track that's not a super speedway and not because of luck i think he can get it done there Lugan i still have logano predicted to win the chicago street course race because he loves winning on new tracks I think Chastain will finally get a win. He will, uh, his first win of the year at Atlanta. I think Harvick will grab a second win at New Hampshire because he's really good there. Larson grabs his third win of the year at Pocono. Truex Jr. grabs his second win at Richmond. Kyle Busch grabs a third win at Michigan. Bell grabs win number two at the Indy Road Course. Elliott goes back to Watkins Glen, the site of his first NASCAR Cup Series win, and gets a second win on the season to affirm his position. And I think at the Daytona regular season finale, Bubba Wallace gets it done, he pulls off the win, and takes a spot in the playoffs. Which means, just like in preseason, four, 14 winners, two spots to be gained on points. I think Brad Kozlowski gets one of them. I He's looked... He's looked improved the team has looked improved the second spot it's going to come down to busher briscoe suarez gibbs sandrick 
I hate counting out Bowman, but I'm, I one, I don't know if he's going to get a win once he comes back. And two, we don't know when he's going to come back in general. He's going to have to make up the points badly, but he's also going to need a win. And if he doesn't win, I just don't see him getting in. I have Daniel Suarez taking the final playoff spot over Chris Buescher and others to make the playoff field. So, with that being said, we now get to the playoffs. Darlington, Kansas, and Bristol make up the first round. I think Martrix Jr. goes into Darlington. Remember, he won the poll there um, last week. And then shenanigans happened, and it took him out. I think Martin Trix Jr. goes back to Darlington, and he wins. And he punches his ticket to the second round automatically. I'm going to stick with my prediction from the preseason. I think Bubba Wallace goes back to Kansas. He looked really good there a couple weeks ago. He won there last year. I think he goes back to Kansas, and he gets the win and puts himself in the second round of the playoffs. So... That brings us to Bristol. Several drivers would potentially get eliminated here because uh, depending on how the first two races go. And I think when you look at Team Penske, you look at Logano and Blaney, like Logano can win. Blaney hasn't won in a while, but we know he can do it. The thing for the both of them is consistency. I have no idea how much of it they got. But, Logano does have the benefit of two wins. He has that benefit. But it's really going to come down to stage points and playoff points as to whether or not you're going to make it. I have Joey Logano getting eliminated in the first round. I just, I think he's going he's to go into Bristol. I think he ha he'll have some form of a cushion behind him. But something's going to happen that's going to fuck him over, and he's going to get eliminated. And I think his teammate Blaney goes right with him. Stenhouse Jr. and Daniel Suarez, they go as well. So the question is, who wins? I think Brad Kozlowski gets his first win as an owner, as a technically an owner-driver with RFK Racing. I think he wins Bristol. I think he pulls it off. And that's... That's going to be the other thing that's going to eliminate Logano and by proxy eliminate Blaney. Brad winning. Brad screws over his former teammates to punch his ticket to the second round. I think he can do it. So, joining Truex Jr., Bo Wallace, and Brad Kozlowski, of course, William Byron, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Christopher Bell, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, Ross Chastain, Tyler Reddick, Denny Hamlin. So the second round, Texas, Talladega, and the Roval. I think Denny Hamlin goes into Texas and snags a win because that feels like a Denny Hamlin thing to do. He hasn't won. He will, at this point, have not won since Kansas. Um, but he's pretty good at Texas, and I think he'll get it done, and he'll need to get it done to punch his ticket to the second round. I think Ryan Blaney, already eliminated from the playoffs, sticking with my preseason prediction, He's going to win at Talladega because that's just the thing that he does. So, we then get to the Roval. And I think Chase Elliott wins. I think Chase Elliott snags himself a win and punches his ticket to the next round. And it could be a situation where, having missed races, the, lack, the, the points lost from missing said races is going to hurt him. Therefore, he needs to win. And he can win at the Roval. He's done it before. He does it again. Joining him and Hamlin, Byron, Larson, Bush, Harvick, Truex Jr., and Brad Kozlowski. So therefore, Bell, Reddick, Chastain, and Wallace are eliminated. Wallace, he's he'll get that win in the first round, but being that this is the wild card round of the playoffs. It's just not going to bode in his favor um, unless he can pull off another Talladega win. This time, hopefully, without rain being a factor. For Bell, two wins is really good. He won Bristol Dirt. He won the Indy Road course. But, you know, again, and the Roval does play in his favor. 
Texas is, I think, has been pretty good to him. I think it's just going to come down to the very end. It's going to be a fight near the bot, near that cutoff line, and Bell is going to be the one out. And then for Reddick and Chastain, I think for Chastain, this is where everything catches up to him. He only has one win. Yeah, he's leading overall points, which if he can continue to lead, will get him bonus points going into the playoffs. Um, you know, and we know how good he is, but the thing is, is he's made a lot of enemies. And a track like the Roval is a perfect place, just as Harvick and uh, Larson, or or it was either Harvick and Larson or, Har or Harvick and Elliott. I believe it was Harvick and Elliott from a couple years ago at the Roval, where shenanigans happened that ended Harvick's day and his playoff his playoff ride. And I think that's what happens to Chastain, um, especially if you get him and Larson near each other. I think Larson, who will probably have enough of a cushion to advance. Shut up, phone. Is going to make it life a living hell for Chastain. And so will Hamlin. So will some of these other guys. And Chastain's just going to, unfortunately, he's going to falter. And then for Reddick, I'd love to see him advance. Um, I had him picked as my preseason champion. Unfortunately, I just think there's some guys who are just going to do better than him. And he gets eliminated here in the round of 12. So then we go to the round of 8. Vegas. Homestead, Martinsville. And I think going into Vegas, Martin Truex Jr. scores another win, punches his ticket back to the Final Four. This is something he's going to be... We've been talking about him thinking like his career is going to be done soon. We don't know how much longer he's going to have. He could get ousted the same way Kyle Busch did from JGR. I think he goes into this race... Wanting to prove something. And he wins it. And he goes to the final four. Larson gets the win at Homestead. Because we know how good he is there. He races really well there. I think Larson will have no problem getting it done. And going back to the final four. And then. That leads us to Martinsville. It comes down to Harvick, Bush, Hamlin, Elliott, Byron, and Brad. Byron's ran well here. I believe he has a win or a couple across the, the top three series. Elliott's obviously ran well here. Him and Hamlin. Kyle Busch has ran well here. Harvick has ran well here. Though, we know what happened in 2020. But this is his final season. This is his final full-time season in the Cup Series. And I think he's going to have a run, in a way, similar to Jeff Gordon did. Similar to Jeff Gordon when he retired. Hopefully without another Logano Kenseth type incident. But I think Kevin Harvick gets redemption at Martinsville for 2020. He wins here and will go to the Final Four with a chance to close out his career a champion. Something that Jeff Gordon could have done, but didn't when they got to Homestead in the finale. Joining these three men will be Kyle Busch. I think he's just going to do, he's going to do just enough to get it done. And what's funny is he's going to beat out his former teammate, Denny Hamlin, to do it. it. Kyle Busch will be the reason why Denny Hamlin does not make the final four this year. There you go. Elliot, I think the, 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 the points missed from missing races due to injury, this is where it will catch up to him even though he got the win at the Roval and two wins in the regular season. Byron, he has his wins. He's going to get one more, in my opinion. But look at the other finishes that he's had this year so far. He has to clean that up. He has to be able to earn more stage and playoff points. And if he does it, it's going to hurt him. If he has any mulligans, it's going to hurt him. And then for Brad, it's been a hell of a run. He got the job done at Bristol back in the first round. He barely gets out of the second round. But unfortunately, his run comes to an end as well. So, Martin Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch. Who wins? Well, it's Phoenix. Part of me wants to pick Kevin Harvick because he finished second to Byron here earlier in the year. 
he has made that track his bitch over the years. And it would be storybook to see Harvick pull it off. But I think he comes up short. I think the reason why he comes up short is because Martin Truex Jr. wins the race and wins his second NASCAR Cup Series title. It would be crazy if he pulls it off. Because, put it to you this way, for Truex Jr., Harvick, and Larson, they all have a chance at their second titles. For Kyle Busch, it would be his third. You look at the other elite, you, you look at the rest of the Elite Eight, the, the four guys who got eliminated from the Elite Eight. Hamlin's never won a title, Elliott would be going for his second, Byron would be going for his first, and Brad would be going for his second. So really, you go through the round of eight to the championship four, all but two drivers have won a title out of these eight men. And of the four, they've all they've all won at least one. I think Martin Trey Jr. is the one to get it done, get a second title, and we'll see where his career goes after that. But I think it would be pretty fitting for him to win. And, you know, out of these four, really, you don't lose in this situation if you're a fan. Martin Trey Jr. gets his second cup title after we all thought he'd be done soon. Harvick gets his second cup title on his way out the door in retirement. Larson gets his second cup title in just a couple of years. And then Kyle Busch gets his third title um, and is, and brings a championship back to, you know, to Richard Children's Racing. Or back to Richard Children's Racing, I should say. Should be interesting. So, with all that being said, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I will catch you all next time. Peace.